I don't think most people have any idea what is going on here. I mean, people are not going to be sitting in their car for six to seven hours for food at a food pantry if they didn't need it. A lot of these families depend on the government for help. They went from increased benefits during COVID to much decreased benefits now. And then food prices are higher than they've ever been. So they literally sit in line for hours for food. I pulled in here at four o'clock this morning. The last time we were down here, the line was all the way back to the freeway, all the way back to the parkway. So the that's, that's, I'd say that's close to a mile from right here. I know it is. When we get our checks, we have to pay bills. And then you gotta buy what little you need and what little food you have, you get snapped, so. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and upon them, and on them which hate thee, which persecuted thee. Shalom, shalom, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's given all praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, my name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth. And truth is sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole for elect scattered abroad. Mile long line for food, for free food after COVID cutbacks. Mile long line for free food after COVID cutbacks. Okay, it says 30% of residents in Wolf in Wolfie County, Kentucky live in poverty. Okay, and the scripture I brought out from the beginning was how the Lord, our power, our God, Yahweh, is starting to put these curses upon our enemies. Okay, because you see in this mile online line at a, at a food pantry, and majority of that line is Edomites, okay? They showed you majority of that. Of the, uh, they're going to show you the video. We're going to continue to play the video. But the majority of this line is Edomites. And you see them smoking their cigarettes. You see them on oxygen, you know? It's ridiculous, man. And it's funny because the Edomite, you know, how you know he's an Edomite, he, he, he mentioned, you know, the first thing he mentioned was mayonnaise, man. He said everything, you know, but the mayonnaise is, is still the same, you see? So these people... You know that were once, you know, on top of the the the, the world that, that were once, you know, had slaves in their past lives, and us as their slaves, and ultimately, you know, was cool with us being in poverty. Now they're in poverty, okay. And I did a video about these snap cut um, benefits, these food step cuts, um, maybe last week, okay. And I said in the video how majority of the people that that's getting food stamps in America are so-called white people, man. Okay, they they put the stigma that it's black people, but it's really so-called white people that's getting the majority of the food stamps. Okay, and this video is going to prove that. Okay. How much were you guys getting during COVID? Three hundred fifty dollars, something like that. And then after it's over, it went back down to what it was before, about a hundred and forty dollars. But still, the mayonnaise and everything else stayed high. So it didn't equal out. And you and, and you see these these Edomites, man. This is the guy I was talking about about the mayonnaise. They're on oxygen, and he's talking about mayonnaise. They're on oxygen, and they're smoking cigarettes, man. Okay. So Esau is through. Okay, Esau is through. Okay. And guess what, man? When it when when when, when this time does come, where America, you know, goes into a great famine and great death and destruction. You Edomites are going to have no remedy, man. You 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 people are going to waste away. Not to mention you two-thirds Jakes that, that, that forsook this truth and want to defend 
you know, your Edomite counterparts. This is Psalm chapter 37, verse 25. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for begging bread. Okay. And you see in these Edomites, you know, they have been forsaken and, and they're in this line begging for bread. Okay, it's a sad way to live, man. It's a sad way to, to you know, especially in your own kingdom. Okay, these Edomites are double time. We had a guy come up to our camp like, you know, yesterday. Some homeless guy just being a, a demon. And we told him, you're a double time loser, man. Your kingdom is over. He was talking about how, 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 how he jailed guys like us. And, and, and I used to at the bottom. Okay, so at the end of this place, uh, you so-called white people are going to be in a serious you know trouble man both of us disabled she's on oxygen i'm on oxygen she's got blood clots in her legs we you usually have to take money out of something else for food you know out of our checks that we draw disability checks before the pandemic i was getting 15 dollars a month during the pandemic they raised them to 240 dollars and you know after the pandemic, they cut them down to thirty dollars. Well, thirty dollars don't get you much. We like Christian music. This really is more than just a food pantry. We wanted it to be a community building and that's what it has become. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? How many are you picking up for? We always knew that there was a great need on our side of the county especially because the people didn't have gas money to drive the 20 some miles to the nearest food pantry. All right, you're good. We don't care about your income or, or where you come from. We believe that if you're in line, all our job is to just feed people. How many people you get up for? Two family. Two family? Where do you want it? Did I buy it? All right, here you go. Have a good Thank day. You're welcome. I started helping at the food pantry here almost from the beginning. Oh, see, that's what happens when short girls do that. Yes, I don't see, hold on, you got tomatoes. I have just become more aware of the fact that there is such a food insecurity in our area. When the stat benefits ended, it was like our line doubled the next giveaway. Come on up a little bit. There you go. And since then, the more cars we have that day and the faster we are running out of food. I don't know what time it is now. 4.06, hot dog. I didn't know it had been that long, <laughs> but I have sat longer if it wasn't for this place. Wow. So in the beginning, it's the, the one guy said how he was in line since 4 o'clock in the morning. And it was like 7 a.m. And then I, and now it was like 4 p.m. Okay. He's, and this guy said he's set longer. Okay. <laughs> so these people are just literally in line waiting for a whole day. Spending a whole day waiting in line just, 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 just to get some free food. Okay. We showed you that Esau is through. But you don't see no Jake in these lines, man. And they're not showing everybody, obviously, but... For the most part, you're not gonna see no you, 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 you don't see no Jakes in this video at all. You know, Kentucky, you know, that's what the Edomite set, man. Okay. This is second Ezra chapter 15. And uh Slocky, by the way, they, they got these food uh um these food um uh uh banks or whatever you want to call them all over America, man. They I mean, they got some down here where, where I'm at. One of my neighbors told me about it the other day. And he said they got it every Monday and Tuesday, and he and he goes every day. You know, you pull up and, you know, it's like a drive through, you know, it's like a food drive or whatever you drive through and they, however many people in the car, you know, you, you get a box per person. Okay. And they're giving you, you know, food that didn't sell at the store. They're giving you, 
you know, food that, you know, that, 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 that would usually go to, to, to waste, you know, but these lines are getting longer and longer and longer. Why? Because people are suffering. People are feeling it, man. Okay. And it's only going to get worse. These are also the plagues of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's <laughs> lucky. The plagues that the, the, the men of the Lord have been warning you about, man. Okay. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you can't say you ain't know. You see? Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 14. Woe unto the unto the woe to the world, which means misery and destruction, unto them that the world they're in. You see, so many so many people got nice cars. They had Cadillacs up there. You know, they had uh, you know, these uh trucks, these, these big expensive trucks, you know. And one even might look like a fat Freddy Cougar. Okay. <laughs> so you hey man, you you, you you, you everyday Edomites is suffering, man. And this is going to lead them to start acting crazy. Start losing their minds. Start, you know, saying, fuck it. Let me go get the the, 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 uh, the, uh, the uh, rifle, man. Especially when these food drives run out. Okay, there's no more food. You know, period. You people are going to lose their minds. It says, for the sword and their destruction draw off night. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. And there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Because the government's going to fail. Your money's going to fail. And your government's going to leave you out there. Okay, they, they're going to go in bunkers where they got food stored up. And leave you out here. And people are going to lose their minds and start killing each other. Okay? They're going to take matters to their own hands. It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. They sh and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So there you go, taking, taking matters into their own hands. Okay? Right now, they, 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 they got on their beggar's face. But pretty soon, they're they, they, they going to have them on the killer's face. Okay, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of the pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So that's how bad it's going to be. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. So these people, they ain't going to have no, they're going to see, they, you know, they, they smiling and they laughing. They see each other at, 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 at the fruit food drive. But, you know, in a couple months, they're going to be, you know, kick, kicking in each other doors, man. I saw you. I, I saw. I saw y'all storing up food from the food drive. Man, what a food! At what a food at? You know, those ladies I was talking about my house was so sad and stuff, and they was giving that that food. Those, those, those same individuals are gonna be gonna be coming to kill them for their food. Says I have. I a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, with with, with, with weapons, guns, you know, uh, knives. May 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 even be a screwdriver, man. Okay. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay, so for a lack of bread, okay, for it's going to be a lack of food out here and great tribulation, you know, bad times. So guess what? People going to be losing their shit, you know? It says, uh, verse 26, for the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. And therefore, delivereth he them into death and destruction. So you people are being delivered into death and destruction. I ain't gonna make this too long. But you've been delivered into death and destruction, man. This, and the Lord is about to get rid of you. It says, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. And ye shall remain in them. You're gonna remain in these plagues, man. For the Most High shall not deliver you. Because ye have sinned against him. Okay, you sinned against the Lord. You know, instead of taking the Lord seriously, you sin against the Lord, man. You know, especially you Edomites, you know, which, you know, the law wasn't given to you, but they have done much wickedness, man, that you still got to pay for. And, 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 and the Lord has not forgot. It says, um, also, like, I'm going to bring it part back. It says, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and you shall remain in them. You're going to remain. You're going to be stuck. Okay, no help, no deliverance, no uh, stimulus checks, no, no no more food stamps, none of that. You're going to be stuck, okay? Talking about mayonnaise. It says, uh, for the, the Most High shall not deliver you. The Lord ain't going to deliver you. He's going to deliver his electo. You see, the Lord said, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So we ain't, you know, <laughs> we ain't got to go to these food drives and wait in line for, you know, hours on hours on hours, you know. Waiting for a fucking handout because what the Lord and hey, the Lord takes care of us, man. And we don't know how, you know, we don't know how, but the Lord does it, man. 
okay and, he, and, we, and we pray he continue to do it it says because you have sinned against him okay so it's time to stop sinning against the lord and come back to your help by you know, shout truth and sincerity man you saw those even they was on oxygen man they was on oxygen talking about mayonnaise and you know stoking cigarettes man second address chapter 15 verse 49 I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, fan of poverty, and it's saying that 30% of Kentucky is in poverty, something like that. Poverty, okay, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And I actually had a eat my friend, you know, you know, when I was um, younger, like I like you know, high school and middle school and shit. I had I had an eat my friend that lived down the road from me, and I would go to his house, and you know, and his parents was you know pinching pennies okay so esau his you know his kingdom is over all right and it was definitely edomites man okay second Ezra chapter 15 verse 56 like as thou hast done unto my chosen saith the lord even so shall the most high do unto thee and shall deliver thee into mischief the lord's about to do the same thing they done it as they what, what, what they said raise it raise it okay they starved us out. They seized Jerusalem. You know, they had us eating our own children. Well, the Lord's going to do that to you now. The Lord's going to do that to you now. It says, the ch th th Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and thine and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. So your children are going to die of hunger. And guess what's, what's going to happen when your children die of hunger before your eyes, and you starve to death? You're going to eat your children, man. Okay? You can eat your children, man. And, you know, they did this to us. Now the Lord's going to do it to them. And we're going to witness this. We're going to see these devils, you know, in a pitiful case. It says, they that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for the very hunger of bread and thirst of water. So when that food run out, these people are going, he's going to eat that dog, man. Okay, he's going to eat that dog. You know, he's going to start eating, it, eat, eating his damn arm. Sure, I wouldn't be a doom. With it, I can eat one meal a day. Without it, I'd eat a meal probably every two, three days. Yesterday, I ate a bowl of cereal and a can of peaches. Mm -hmm. That was my supper. That was my supper. What do you think? He looking for some tears. He looking for some tears, man. He said, that was my supper. Okay, so now you eat them. It's about to fill it, man. You about to fill it. You be, you 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 about to go through hell. Okay. Your supper is gonna be, you know, dirt. Okay. Your your supper is gonna be dirt, man. Let me grab this real quick. Bear with me one second. Well, well, let me let it play. I'll let it play. Give me a kiss. Play sure I wouldn't be a doom. With it, I can eat one meal a day. Without it, I'd eat a meal probably every two, three days. Yesterday, I ate a bowl of cereal and a can of peaches. That was my supper. What do you think? Give me a kiss. Here, give me a kiss. Thank you. And he drives for four. We never knew when we started this pantry that the need would be this big. Hello, how are you? Eat them, I'm not yeah, having yeah. Got your paper for me? Sometimes it really gets to you. Hello there. No matter how hard you work, you'll always run out of food. Look like they're about out of stuff. Never you know that. I know it. So I'll walk with you. Get you some extra papers. They're special people. I mean, we've really bonded with everybody that comes through this farm. Here, Henry. Here's you two Henry more. Some of these. Thanks for everything. Even at the end of the day, when there's not much food left, people are still just so thankful for anything that you can give them. Don't want to run over you. Well, if you want to run over somebody, run over him. <laughs> there you go. We got that for you. Oh, that's the baddest dog in the county. No doubt in my mind. 
We're raised to take care of people, and that's what that's what we're doing. Let's roll our chairs in. But I feel like it shouldn't have to be like this. There has to be a better way. There you go. Thanks for everything. There you go, man. Okay, so these people are going through it. They're starting to feel it. Okay, they're starting to feel it. All right. This is, um, because the Lord said that my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Okay. It says, Second Ezra chapter uh, 2, verse. Let's get right to the point. It says, for, uh, Second Andrew chapter two, verse twenty-six. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will, I will require them from among thy number. Okay, so a hey, wh whoever the elect is, hey, they're gonna be good. It says, Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh and that day is definitely coming it's already you know cre cre it's already creeping up you know you see you see, you, you can see the, the you know the sunrise you know the sun beams you know from, from that day coming okay it says for be not weary and when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful that's what these people are doing they're weeping and being sorrowful <laughs> okay these are those others weeping and being sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance, man. Okay? And, and, and we good over here. By all, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Hey, we good over here, man. Okay? Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahushai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahushai. And we pray the Lord keep us good, man. You know? We pray the Lord keep us good. You see? But these Edomites ain't doing so good in their own kingdom. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Hey man, they're gonna be hey, we're gonna be merry and have abundance. And the times that they'll be coming into these people in their own kingdom, man. And then and, and then they all got, you know, did you know no different, you know, issues with their body, you know, from too much mayonnaise, and now they can't even work, they can't do nothing. They just, you know, you know, got their hand out until they, you know, and it can get something in it or or, or what? Or they die. They got to wait in this line for, you know, 10, 12 hours or they die. That's a whole work shift, man. I'm wasting gas. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 2, verse uh, 28. It says, The heathen shall envy thee, but shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. Okay, so these heathens, they're going to envy us we, because we're, because we're, we're going to be fed, man. Okay. It says, my hand shall cover thee that so that thy children shall not see hell. Our children will eat. You know, they ain't going to starve to death. Okay. Let me grab one more. Because we're not only going to eat, man. We're going to be good. We're going to be good, man. All right. Let's lock the barrel. Give me one second. I'm going to grab one and we'll close out. Here we go, boom. Second Ezra chapter four, uh, uh me slack you up. Psalm chapter thirty-seven. It says, because everything he's been trying to do, this is good been done to him now. It says. Uh, Psalm 37 verse 12 The wicked plotteth against the just And gnasheth upon him with his teeth You know with his power He, he plotted against us trying to destroy us They wanted to exterminate us It says the Lord Shall laugh at him For he seeth that his day Is coming 
The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such of be as be of upright conversation. That's what they try to do to us, man. They try to, you know, cast down the poor and needy and to slay of such as be of upright conversation, which is the Israelites. It says their sword shall enter into their own heart. So they, they, what they try to do to us is happening to them. Okay, it's falling upon them. All, 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 all the works that the heathen has done unto us, it shall be done unto them. It says, and their bows shall be broken. That a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. You see? So we ain't got much, but we're still better than, you know, the, the riches of, of, of these, you know, wicked. You know? It says, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken but yahweh upholdeth the righteous so it's like i said earlier in the video it's by the grace of yahweh that that that, that we eating that the lord is upholding us okay we ain't in these lines for 12 you know th 20 hours a day you know sit, sitting at a time trying to you know just you know see this is four o'clock in the morning and god said he got in line at four o'clock in the morning all right and it just ended probably like six o'clock, seven o'clock p.m. It says, the, the, sorry, "The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the time of evil, in the evil time, the bad times." And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. You see, so we're not just going to be taken care of. We're going to be satisfied. It says, but the wicked shall perish and the enemies of Yahweh shall be as a fat of lambs. They shall consume away into smoke. Shall they consume away? Because ultimately, these people are just going to be destroyed. Man, if you're on the shores of America and, you know, you, and you, you, you know, you're not in one of the elect of Israel, you're going to eventually starve away. You're going to die. You're going to be, you know stabbed up shot up you know or you're going to be completely burned up by these thermonuclear missiles okay it says the wicked borrowers that's the point that's the point so i pray this edifies the hopeful elect shalom kwame shalom